Hello friends, good week, Vladimir here with you. Welcome to our weekly review for the 11th of April 2011. Well, the previous week was very, 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 very quiet until the end of the week. Then we saw the another weakness wave from the US dollar. I must be honest, it surprised me and uh, especially the euro uh, dollar surprised me uh, most of all and I will explain why the euro dollar was fighting the 143 level which was this downtrend line from the closest price and this resistance here on this level right? right just right here 143 was very critical level I was sure and it was very 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 technical um, right can correct that 143 would be a classical resistance that will cause a, a, a correction. On the daily chart and on the four of our charts also looked like the divergence will finally create it. We could see a, an attempt here and a Rami pattern the first attempt and the, this was created during the, the previous week double dodgy Usually a pattern that make a reverse, but this time never did, and we didn't see the breakdown. Uh, uh, instead of that, 143 was broken powerfully, quickly, very, very, very strong. Well, so what? Uh, what's next from the euro dollar? Well, Trichet raised the interest rate. Jean Claude Trichet raised the interest rate during Thursday. As the market actually expected, from one percent to one dollar, and uh, in, in this case, uh, European currency, the euro, actually will be gather strength against the U.S. dollar, especially with the worldwide weakness from the U.S. dollar. But what next? One forty-five is the resistance, right? One forty-five, this level just right here this resistance right, is also a beautiful powerful resistance will that hold this time and we'll see correction from the from here possibly possibly but for long run there is, right now there is no doubt that the euro will aim more and more and more up move it looks very 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 bullish very bullish, especially after the break of 143. Probably we will see a retest of 143, and the, this will be the retest. And then this this is actually the level 143, right? And then we will see probably another raise up from the euro. The investors are bullish. Everything is bullish, and. The trend is riding on the Bollinger Band on the weekly chart and on the daily chart. The divergence that was created here was broken up. The same uh, here. Uh, still the histogram uh, pointing the weakness, but we never see. We never uh, can call it as a U-turn on the market. The euro is very bullish, and I pre I think that for a long run, the euro will go at least to 150. But what does it mean for the uh, upcoming days? Let's take a look on the weekly chart. Well, 143 from this downtrend line was broken, but from the highs the downtrend line from here to here, it it meets around 145. If I d erase these lines, we could see we had a marubuzu. After a marubuzu, usually comes a correction. So. Is it worse to go against the trend right now and try to catch the correction? You know I like it. You know I like this uh, this attempt. And I always say, if a first attempt fail, the next one with the next divergence will work. But we, we don't have actually any bearish signs yet. Any bearish candle. So it is very, very, very bullish yet. I do expect a correction probably to 143, maybe 142.50. If it breaks this level, the next level should be 140.40. But I believe these levels will hold 
and we will see the euro rising up. So with it worth to go against the trend right now, I also like to do it. I, I personally do it because of, uh, if the first item fails, the next one will bring the beautiful correction. The stop loss is short, right? Uh, above, just above the critical levels. And after the Marubuzu, the weekly Marubuzu usually comes the correction. So will we see a correction right now? Probably and possibly yes. 143 would be the target. And if not 143, then at least the 4 hours up trend line uh, and the 20 moving average of the Bollinger Bands on the 4 hour chart. So this is my expectations from the Euro. Uh, buy from the dip. Uh, I do expect a correction and it will be a good idea to buy after the correction. Uh, for long run, I do expect the Euro to raise 150 level at least. That's about the Euro that uh, actually surprised with its power and this was classical double top here with the double dodgy that never worked and was broken up and the euro uh, actually failed to create this correction for change of direction it would be only with the break of this uh, amazingly powerfully uh, uptrend line alright so I do expect it maybe to kiss 145 and then yes to correct this line and then probably continue up. What about the British pound? Let's see what's going on with this pair. Well, uh, uh, ex uh, as not as the Jean-Claude Trichet, Marvin King did not raise the interest rates for another month. Uh, the speculation is very, 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 very uh, serious there in uh, Britain. The speculations talk about that the that Marvin King could not hold the, rate, the interest rate on the same levels again and again and again. He will have to raise it very, 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 very soon. And pro possibly and probably he will. So as for now, I am very neutral for the British pound. Um, I was sure actually that during the week it, will, it, uh, sh it, it had a, a harmonic pattern here, just right here. It should correct itself all the way to 160, 150, it never did, it created a sideway move and broke up again. So as for now, I'm neutral for this pair and uh, I uh, actually recommend, recommend to stay out of this pair. Uh, for long run, I am bullish. For long run, I am bullish. 158, the 20 moving average of the weekly chart is very good uh, support level. 167 would be the next target and 170 would be even the the final target as for now. The, the British pound could continue to rise even higher if Marvin King will actually raise the interest rate as the market actually expects from him. So uh, as for now I'm neutral. What about the Euro British pound, the cross between them? Let's see, first of all, let's erase these unneeded lines and let's see what happened here. We have a double dodgy on the weekly chart, right? We have this breakdown and kind of retest, so it looks very bullish. Right? We have this daily chart and we could see that we have a resistance here around 0.89. This is the resistance actually, and it looks like this pair wants to go up. The RSI bullish, the stochastic bullish, the MACD looks like going up, and maybe complete a divergence here with some angle. Complete the divergence here on the resistance, and then the MACD will complete it and drop down, such as it happened here on uh, the uh, on uh, at the end of October. 2010. As you can see right here, the rise up, right? Cross, one more way up, MACD broke here, you see? And then bam, a retrace. So let's see, I am bullish until own 89, and then we will have to see um, what's going on with this pair. Another beautiful pair with the Euro would be Euro New Zealandian. It looks like we have a very, very, very 
bullish sign from this beautiful pair. We have a support line right here. We had a stop. We had a uh, morning star pattern on the daily chart just right here. And on the 4 hour charts we could see a bullish divergence. The break of this downtrend line. A break of this downtrend line. Right? And now uh, I would prefer to see, and we see the MACD very bullish and the RSI also bullish. I would prefer to see a close above 185 and if there is 4 hours close above, it's very bullish sign. The target, the first target would be 168.30, this resistance and the next target would be, of course, the next resistance. Well, it's around 187.30. Of course, it could go higher and higher according to, to the daily chart. It could also reach the one. Uh, it's actually 187, the 20 moving uh, 20 moving average of the Bollinger Band. So actually, that's the expectations from the Euro New Zealand. Break above 185 and close above this resistance line could lead the up trend line. This is just a beautiful pair from my point of view. What about the next pairs? Let's go for the dollar, the U, the U.S. dollar yen, and the crosses against the Japanese yen. The investors are still uh, bearish for this pair. They still think that uh, for long run it should go down. Let's see if uh, technically they could be correct. Well, we had a break of 84, 85, right? We had a break above. We almost reached the 86 level as well. Almost reached the 86 level, right? And then we had this drop down. It looks like the dollar yen w uh, wants to go for this support line, which will probably, which is maybe even lower here, which will probably uh, retest the. 20 moving average of the Bollinger Band. If it will break down and close the below the, one, the 20 moving average of the daily Bollinger Band, then yes, it would be very bearish sign and then it could be really long run. So that's about the dollar yen. Let's see the crosses against the yen and it should be interesting. The euro yen, well, uh, you all remember uh, three weeks ago when uh, we talked about the break about 115 two weeks ago sorry and the uh, uh, bullish up move but uh, i must be honest i was expecting the the block and the stop on this powerful resistance look at that never happened it surprised me very 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 much but as i said the, to take a risk on these levels is very 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 logical and welcome so what's next with the pairs uh, of the Japanese yen. Uh, from the euro yen it looks like it's about just about to go to 125 the investors level. I think it will go to 127 as well. 127. It will go there. Of course it will not happen in one day but long run it will happen. It looks very 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 bullish. As for now I'm neutral from the uh, from the from the euro yen, the bearish correction would begin only if this four hours chart uptrend line will be broken and uh, not just broken but closed below, retest, and then uh, I could see an, 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 a correction down. So that's my expectation from the euro yen. As for now, a neutral breakdown of this four hour chart would lead for. Um, for a correction. The stop would be placed above the high and the target, the first target would be 120 which is this support. What about the uh, next uh, pair from the yen? I, I want you to watch uh, Australian yen is as well as almost the same as the euro yen. You see it. The uptrend line, right, which meets the 20 moving average. There is kind of a divergence break below would lead uh, 87.60 level, maybe even deeper for 
But uh, another interesting pair from my point of view is the Swiss against the Japanese yen. On the weekly chart, we could see there is a beautiful resistance on the range of 20, uh, uh, 93.50 to 94. Beautifully powerful resistance. RSI is above 70, stochastic overbought. Daily chart as well, RSI above 70, stochastic overbought. The uh, MACD creating a new high. So I do expect a correction from this range of levels, 80, uh, 9350 to 9420 plus minus, a, a correction to the 20 moving average of the daily chart. So uh, Swiss yen, I am bearish for this beautiful pair as long as it did not close above 9420. So that's my expectations from this beautiful pair. Another pair is Australian Canadian. Watch this resistance, we are going to visit there at least. Why do I think so? Why do I think so? Of course, this resistance should be broken first, right? 101 should be broken first if we want to have this resistance meeting, which will be 101.70. But as for now, look on all bullish signs. We will have a divergence here. It, we will have a little correction of divergence here, a little correction, and then probably. Uh, after the break of this resistance around 102, it will be the sign to go up. Will it, will it happen? Not sure. But I do believe we will have another retest of 101.70 uh, to 102. This will be the range. So I am bullish all the way to 101.70, maybe even 102 for the Australian against the Canadian. So uh, that's the pairs uh, I am looking for uh, this time. About the Australian dollar, bullish, very bullish, very, very bullish. Nothing I can say. It never correct, so we, we still didn't have the attempt and the, um, the possibility to join. Every correction, every correction um, for 150, 200 pips. Would, uh, pre pro would provide an uh, opportunity to buy the uh, Australian against the dollar. Very bullish pair as for now. On every chart. The New Zealandian, the same situation. Despite we have this, the possibility of this beautiful double top here, it still looks very bullish. And uh, every correction here as well should lead for an opportunity to buy. Look for these levels, you see, oh, 078, uh, 20, 30, this resistance actually here. Hold the, hold the, these prices, and we could see a correction. I, uh, the correction should lead only for buying opportunity. As for now, everything looks bullish. Will the US dollar correct? I really believe it will. When it will happen, let's see on the US dollar uh, index. Um, US dollar index uh, price. We have beautiful critical support line on 74 here, which is the the previous low. Right? 74 to 75. Critical correction. A weekly divergence. What does it mean? What's all of that means? Will we actually have a long term correction before the US dollar index will continue to drop? Everything is possible as long as it is above 74. We the possibility to have a correction is very 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 high. And don't forget that corrections begin and happen when nobody expect them. I, I've expected them previous week. Then they didn't happen. This week, uh, some of the pairs look neutral. This is maybe the sign. That the correction will begin, and you are ready to have the correction sign. I showed you the uptrend lines on many pairs. Once they will be broken, it will be the sign that we will have a beautiful correction on the daily chart. On the daily chart of uh, the U.S. dollar index, there is also, as we can see here, a possible beautiful, beautiful divergence, daily divergence. So we could easily, easily see a beautiful correction 
of the US dollar before it will continue to lose power. That's all my friends for this beautiful week. I wish you uh, I wish you really good week, profitable trades. Thank you very much for your time watching. If you have any questions, you are invited to ask me on my email uh, and uh, you can follow me on Facebook. Just look for Vladimir Begov. Thank you very much for your time, friends. I wish you very profitable, very nice week. Thanks for your time, Vladimir.